how you feeling today? I'm just riding my way to whatever it takes me. Tease in my taste. Can you picture a place where there's peace and grace? I leave the blueprints on my steps you can trace. What's up, everybody? It's your boy HVAC Rowdy. Just want to tell you guys thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Keep up with weekly content. All right, so I commonly get asked this question about Rowdy, how do you check your capacitors without taking it all loose? What app do you use, Roddy? How do you do it? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to show you a quick little example how I do it. So I have your capacitor. It's on the load. I'm in the middle of maintenance in it, but I figure I'll just do a review on it because it's just a good example. So we have this working normal capacitor up. Um, you're going to download this app I have. It's called a HVAC school app. Um, something like these. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something I use for an app. It's gonna pop up like this. Um, you click tools, and when you click tools, you'll get a whole bunch of things you can test out for technicians. Um, you got voltage imbalance, superheat, delta T, air density, nitrogen, pressure, you know, all that type of stuff. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press under low capacitor test. Um, this already has examples of what when I just used it. Let me delete those so I can give you an example. So they have the voltage, the amperage, and the capacitor rating. Um, so basically, all you really have to do while your capacitor is still on, under low, you go to your capacitor. You start, you just start by looking at the rating. The rating on the capacitor is 30 slash 5. So you're gonna just put. 30 and then you're also going to check the amperage so of course you check the amperage bridge. and the easiest way to check amperage is of course checking your harm wire and on mine you see I have 4.26 so what you will do is you just come back to the app type in 4.26 alright now we have to check the voltage now you check the voltage of a capacitor on the load by checking the HERM and the C terminals. So first you gotta make sure you got your monitor, the meter. So of course you have to make sure your meter is set to voltage. And you just put your leads on there. You have 362 so you go back to your little thing 362 and then you have all your information put in and you just press done and it gives you a whole reading it gives you the microfair rating which was 30 of course the calculated microfarads that we calculated 31.22 microfarads the variation so you're one and point 22 microfarads over which isn't bad the variation is 4.7 percent which is pretty good as long as you're not plus or minus six is what it says on there and the amount of variation is acceptable and boom you basically know your capacitor is going pretty bad or if it's doing all right um different um messages they give you to have slightly out of spec which means it's kind of you know going out on his, on his way out and it also has bad that also pops up at the bottom here which tells you it's pretty it's, it's, it's basically out but it just hasn't fully gone out yet so yeah that's how i test capacitors on the load with with my um, hvac school app